the Himalaya Karakoram range of South Asia has the most glaciers and that's why it is called the water tower of Asia or the third pole. But climate change is having an adverse effect on this region too. In such a situation, it is very important to understand the response of water resources that originate from this mountainous region and cater to about a billion people. As part of this effort to create a better understanding, a research team led by Dr. Mohammad Farooq Azam, Assistant Professor, Indian Institute of Technology, Indore, has conducted a comprehensive study. The research, supported by an INSPIRE fellowship from the Department of Science and Technology, identifies gaps in understanding the impact of climate change and outlines possible solutions to address these gaps. The research gathered results from more than 250 research papers to arrive at a more accurate understanding of the links between global warming, precipitation change and glacier shrinkage. The study shows that the ice and glaciers in the Himalaya Karakoram range are melting rapidly, thereby altering the water supply in rivers like the Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. Glaciers are a direct indicator of climate change. In the Himalayas, only few glaciers are under observation. In order to understand the impact of climate change on uh, Himalayan glaciers, scientists observe high altitude meteorology, glacier mass balance, change in its glacier ice thickness and uh, dynamics, as well as glacier hydrology. With increasing recent attention of uh, scientific community, uh, the understanding about Himalayan glaciers has uh, increased uh, swiftly. However, this understanding remains poor compared to uh, other mountain ranges of the world. According to this research paper published in the journal Science under the title Glacial Hydrology of the Himalaya Karakoram, total river runoff, glacier melt and seasonality of flow in these rivers are projected to increase until the 2050s with some exceptions and large uncertainties. Since the melting glaciers fulfill the water requirements of these rivers, people will be affected when much of the glacier ice mass melts throughout the century and gradually stops supplying the required amount of water. To avoid this scenario, policymakers need to assess the current status and possible future changes of rivers for sustainable water resource management for agriculture, hydropower, drinking water, sanitation and hazard situations. Now it is clear that Himalayan glaciers are losing mass which is uh, consistent with uh, global warming. However, glacier shrinkage rates uh, are not uniform along the Himalayan range because uh, climate varies from one location to other. And uh, in order to understand the impact of uh, climate change on the whole uh, Himalayan range, we uh, need to select more glaciers for observation from uh, different climatic regimes in the Himalaya. And uh, such local uh, studies are also important for uh, the development of large-scale uh, models for uh, future glacier evolution as well as runoff evolution. The research team has recommended a stepwise strategy to address the identified gaps. This includes an expanded observation network that places fully automatic weather stations on selected glaciers. They also suggest developing comparison projects to examine glacier area and volumes, glacier dynamics, permafrost, thaw and snow and ice sublimation. The next phase recommends the implementation of the knowledge from these studies in detailed models of glacier hydrology to reduce the uncertainty in projections of future change.